Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and yes, we are back at the stadium. Um, I've done a little bit here and there, just uh, uh, spiff things up a little bit um, with some props, uh, mostly trees and curbs. Um, and as you can see, we have a, a, a large, a huge amount of pedestrian traffic still, in no small part because of this, um, well, there we go, because of that uh, metro station there. But uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to lower this freeway down like I had been talking about um, and then we're going to really just connect the the web between the downtown area and uh, uh, cliffside estates here. So um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and start that with the movement mod. So I'm not going to really delete anything here. Um, and really, we're going to start at this end here. So, I think we're going to start here. And um, we'll micromanage how the, well, we do our slope uh, after we've completed the overall sunk, sinking, the sinking of the freeway. So, this part of the freeway doesn't really matter too much just because like uh, how the uh, segments go just because um, as long as they are roughly parallel and uh, roughly the same height uh, it ought to work just fine and there we go okay so now I'll, uh, yeah so now I'm just gonna start paging down it's gonna lag quite a bit because I got a lot of segments selected here. Now one quicker way I could probably do is I can maybe go the align height tool and align it with that. And that'll sink it down real quick. There we go. Now we do need to do some some micromanagement now. Um, I think I'm going to delete these trees. Actually let's go and do it this way. Big brush, maybe not that big. Yeah, and we will literally take the trees out, or not. You know, just kidding, right? There we go. Oh, maybe it needs to be. Able to, oh, I know why. It's the brush strength is weak. There we go. Because I want to take out uh, some of that too, but. Here we go. We gotta delete all that up. Oh, you know what? That I bet you that's the metro line. So I'm gonna have to uh, lower that metro line down. Uh, that's what's causing that right there, for sure. Causing it to glitch. Yeah, I thought it was trees at first, but no, that makes sense that it's uh, a metro line. And so now I'm going to go to my thing here. Uh, well, first, before I do that, let's go ahead and go to the metro line. So, um, well, I guess we'll do it this way. And um, we want to select that and that and lower those down to where those aren't causing a problem with the freeway there. There we go. Works great. Gorgeous. Okay. Now, we'll go back to our terrain here. And we'll have our level terrain tool here. And I'm going to right click right there. And that's going to make it to where that's the level that we're leveling to. And I'm going to smooth out the, the center median here so that it, it's, it's even. funny to be really any other way okay we'll leave it to there okay now one thing I need to do is we have this little funny uh, thing there we need to match that up there we go and a 
another thing we need to do is we need to take this slope down a little bit gentler. Kind of look at it sideways. And you want it to kind of just be as uh, even a slope as you can make it. And this I'm going to actually move over while holding alt so it stays nice and straight. And then bring it on down. And that looks pretty good. I might actually bring these two segments up just a bit. Just for the sake of making it nice and smooth. Nothing too crazy here. And that'll work. Right, so now now the, the freeway sunk. Now we can um, go to these. And we can level those out with the ground over here. And then what we'll want to do is we'll take um, that road type which is this one over here. And we'll want to oh, um, stick that to the ground. There we go. Like that and like that. Perfect. Okay. So that's nice and stuck to the ground. Now, uh, you notice I'm having a little bit of a glitch there. That's because this is just a little bit too far out. So I'm just going to move. Oh, uh, Control Z. Um, I just want the one. I'm just going to move it back you know, while holding Alt again to keep it nice and straight. Um, and it's it's having to think pretty hard about this. So, all right, my frame rate is going through the floor here. There we go. All right. So now that that is nice and Great and perfect, love it. Okay, now we'll do something similar over here. Um, we'll select that one and shift and select that one while we were holding down shift, and then we'll uh, make it even with this over here. And uh, we even need to make that even over here. There we go. And that looks great. Okay. So, we'll move on to over here. Um, that one's are obviously already done, but we might as well... Now, <laughs> I just noticed this was uh, in the intersection here. Now, one of the reasons why this is higher is because we have these on and off ramps. And so they got to go over the on and off ramps as well. So, that's actually going to stay the same. I'm not going to lower that down for that reason. Um, so that the on and off ramps are uh, cleared by the pedestrians. They don't have to worry about uh, that. So that being said, now we're going to take a look at our grid here. And we're going to connect our grid up. And even more so over here. Now, the grid over here is just a little bit janky. It was kind of designed to just fill in the space between the freeway and the road. It really wasn't uh, meant to stick with this grid too much. So, you know, here, um, we might want to go ahead and um, continue this grid on out. Um, and that would actually have implications for this pedestrian bridge. Obviously, it won't be needed anymore because you'll have a road that you can uh, walk along, uh, similar to how people are walking along the road here. Um, probably connect that up to there, that makes some sense. And then, uh, obviously we're gonna wanna bring this road straight out, and I'm guessing it'll connect up with that street right there. And then, uh, from there, we'll just uh, fill it in as we see fit the grid. So that's my plan. Let's go ahead and pause it because I am going to delete this uh, pedestrian bridge here. And yeah, there we go. Even though I had to spend the time to you know, lower it down, make it all look good. Um, wasn't thinking about the, the road that I was going to be putting in shortly. And 
I don't know that I want to keep this as the road. Um, I, I really would love to upgrade to the avenue here and keep that avenue going, but I think without uh, moving these, uh, that's going to make it somewhat difficult. I mean, nothing's impossible uh, when you put your mind to it, but I don't know. I just don't know, guys. Um... So that's the only road like this that has the bicycle lanes. I, I save this one, which I kind of don't like. I like this one better than that one. But I got some other ones here. So one-way road, one-way road with parking, two-lane, one-way neighborhood street. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, and then we got some pedestrian, pedestrian, and we got a contemporary shared street um, parking on both sides. So one lane, one way contemporary shared street with parking spaces on both sides and decorative streets, plants, and which is supports lower traffic and increases land value. Bicycles share the center lane with vehicles. Interesting. What's that look like? Oh, that looks very different indeed. So it's almost more of a, it is a one way, that's one thing to think about. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I definitely like, might want to work on getting that into my city, but I don't think this is the right application for it. But it looks fantastic. I uh, really love the look of that road. Okay. Um, what's this one look like? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, yeah, so I think um, we're just going to have to stick with the, the plain and old tried and true. All the way back over here. We'll stick with this. Alright, so. Gonna grab it. And we're just going to come out straight here. Um, oh, I know what's wrong. I'm looking for my snap, but my angle snap's not on. So. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to click right where my... Um, where that line there that's kind of moving with the road is right at the edge of this uh, line here along the the edge of the grass. That's what you would call that, I guess. And so we're going to click right there, and then we're going to bridge across, and then we're going to go back to attached to the ground and bring it on in and oh I, I do have these turned off so that's going to affect things as well there we go oh and look I didn't even realize I, I had done that so let us fix that by uh, making it even with that and let's fix this by making it also even with that Oh, that's much better. And we'll move it over just a wee bit. And once again, level it out. There we go. And I'm going to move that over to be more centered. There we go. And that looks good. Okay. So we got uh, a nice new bridge going across here. And it looks like uh, it's not quite straight, which is okay. So we'll put just the slightest little S there, um, and that'll cover that. Um, so now that we have that going, uh, let's go ahead and put this road over here. So this is just a neighborhood street, and it connects with a big avenue, so we can make it whatever we want. And so what I think I'm going to do, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to stick with the bicycle lanes over here. Instead, um, I'm going to try, you know, we could always go with the tried and true uh, median centered road. I don't necessarily want a one way. Contemporary pedestrian street, you yeah, know, we're not going to do that. 
So I think, yeah, we'll stick with this, uh, this one here. I like it. It's one of my favorite roads, actually. And looks like, you know, our... We really aren't there until we get to here. So that's one thing to keep in mind. We've gotta get down to here before we can really cross, which we can cross right there and then kinda of curve it around. So let's let's come from this direction so that it makes a little bit more sense. And I wonder if we wanna do this one. It's so close to that one though. Um, maybe we do this one, not that one, but this one. Can we swing that? I think we can swing it. I think it'll work. All right, so I'm gonna click right there, and then we're gonna to go to the bridge. Oh, but okay, you gotta remember these don't don't bridge at all. Um, I wonder if this one does. Well, that one bridge? It won't. Okay, so let's try this one. No, this one bridge. And we will, I'm gonna click on straight slope. See if that'll fix that little kink of it going down, which it does, okay, and then we'll just go back to the one that we had here, and we'll have it like this. Now, I don't want it to just to go straight, so what we're going to want to do is curve it that way, like that, and then have it connect straight on up. Right, so it's kind of, there we go, it's kind of just straight over, <laughs> straight not straight, right, but uh, it works for what we got. Alright, so we got that going, now we want to fill in our, our grid here. Now one thing that we could do, we got enough on and off ramps that we could start to uh, like maybe starting right here have a feeder road and so this off ramp goes to the feeder and what have you that's something that we could consider um, but then for that to really work well you got to do it on the other side and I don't think I want to do that so but I, I could, I could almost just do a feeder road from here but still not going to do that so we're just going to kind of curve around this. Uh, you're still going to have some open space here, and that's just the way that's going to be, and that's okay. So, I think I'm going to see about trying some of these new ones, though. It's still a one way. I don't like that it's one way. Okay. Not going to do that. What else? Let me do. Well, that. That's kind of nifty looking. Let's let's see what that looks like. So, let's turn off the angle snap again. Doesn't look half bad. Gives it a different look. I need to turn my tree anarchy off. I'll have to get my movement mod here. So I had forgotten to turn the tree and, tree and proper anarchy off. I'm going to grab a tree. I'm going to move it around where I've laid down road. And that ought to solve uh, that problem pretty well. Not that it was too big of a problem, but um, it's a lot easier than deleting every little tree. You just kind of move it around real quick and it's done. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. We'll, we'll use this for this little district here, if you will. So, that's going to come across here. Um, at some point, you want it to kind of S-curve around. So, let's see. We, we'll go ahead and put our angle snap back on. Uh, and try and finagle it to where it'll go around these train pylons with as little impact as possible. Hmm. Oh, it stayed. Okay. Um, we'll t I'll take that. I'll take it now. Do I want to 
connect back up, or I don't think I do. I think what I'm going to do is I'll go straight for just a wee bit here, just for the sake of, like, red, and then I'm going to curve it back around. And I don't want to really touch that road there, so uh, we'll... I don't want too much of a curve. So, you know what I need to do is I did too much of a turn there. So, we'll go like that. And now we'll go straight. Just like, well, I kind of want to bring it out to here and have it kind of meet up. Do one more over. Was two more over. So I want the grids to be pretty close there. You know what I could do is I could uh, bring it 90 degrees here and then bring it 90 degrees that way and then delete this road. And then that's going to give me the road that I want. And I can bring it out here and connect it back up that way. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, gorgeous. Now, we can just do a nice little uh, T-junction here. And go straight down 90 degrees. Maybe do it right there as well. Perfect. All right. And then, I guess right for right here, we'll, we'll, we'll do a an L-shaped, and it'll be a dead end. Okay, and then here, well maybe not, maybe we won't do a dead end, because we'll connect it all the way across, so yeah, I don't have a problem with that, and we'll build over here, and that'll connect up with that street right there, perfect, and uh, yeah, I like it. I don't think we need it really, I mean, maybe we do a cross street right there. Um, not going to really mess with that too much. And we'll bring this on across. Now, we're not going to tee it into that even though it looks like it would be kind of real, real slick and easy, huh? Um, I think I'm just going to T-bone it there and call that a day. I, I do believe that's that is now done. Okay, so now we'll go to our zoning, and it looks like we have demand for pretty much anything we want. So I'm gonna go with the high density commercial here. I'm gonna stick it on this side of the the tracks. This side of the tracks. Now, um, from this other side, I think I'm just going to do straight uh, office here. And I'm going to just spread it out like that. Anything I got missed, um, I might go ahead and undo it there. I don't think I want anything there. You know, it might not be bad to have some small offices there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, that's not doing it. Screw it. Not going to do it. I'm not going to put anything on this side either because, I don't know. It just seems like right by that seam, I'll we'll put some offices. It'd be cool to have an office across the street from the stadium. Oh, let's actually go right click, uh, left click and not right click, rather. Wait, is it over writing it or I just missed that area here? So, I'm going to have to finagle that a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's fix.
fix that one square. And fix these. And yeah, that's good enough. So, um, for, for this area here, we might need a kind of uh, Rico plot later on. We'll see how it builds out. And I think that's good. And let's make sure everybody's got water. I think they will. Yeah, they got plenty of water. Everybody's going to have plenty of power. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, really, we're really well connected because of the stadium already. Um, so I'm not going to even add any uh, things. So I'm just going to let it play. See how it goes. Well, I'm going to let it play for a little bit, um, and I will let you watch it with some music in the background if you want to. Uh, that's it for this episode otherwise, so thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.